Hi Cancer, welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey and I'm back with another channeled message. <clears throat> so if you are Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or just feel like tapping into and connecting with the Cancer energy today, then this reading is for you. I hope this finds you well. Uh, why don't we just get right on into it? Now, there's something about permanency that we're going to be discussing. There's something about the Akashic Records. There's something about something being written down, and it is connected to whatever you experienced during the solar eclipse. Okay, so what, whatever that major theme was, you're about to embark on something new that is related to that, and I'm picking up that most of you, this is going to be some sort of a seven-year cycle. And I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune in my mind's eye here. So seven years to turn the wheel. That's what I'm feeling. So as usual, we're going to go through tarot. We're going to go through Oracle and just see what spirit has for the Cancer Collective. So if these messages resonate with you, please like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, comment down below. Thank you so much to everybody who has reached out um, about personal readings. It's been so much fun to be able to connect with you all on a deeper level. So thank you. What do we got for Cancer? I am not at all surprised to see that the beginning of this reading is the Page of Cups, right? We're talking about embarking on something new. Now, this is going to be something new in terms of relationships. Um, it, this could be your relationship with yourself, but I do feel like for most of you, this is going to be uh, relationships and connections that are outside of yourself. This could be romantic, friendship, family relationships, <laughs> Friendships, right, as the Three of Cups falls on the grounds, or relationships with siblings. Let's see. All right, back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and behind that, the Sun in the reverse. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I don't read reversals as if that's the absence of the energy. It is that energy in some sort of resistance, excuse me, as I adjust in this very uncomfortable chair. Yeah, so there's there's some sort of a clarity or truth that wants to come through that's going to bring you a tremendous amount of happiness, right? It's going to directly connect you to your fifth house, which is the house of joy, creativity, uh, children, connecting with your inner child, being playful, and just having fun, like living your life, right? But this energy is in resistance, so there's something, right, some sort of reality, Behind all of this is the Five of Cups, right? So there's some sort of disappointing reality that needs to be kind of accepted. This is the energy of acceptance here. Accepting something for what it is so that you can finally step into living your best life. Page of Cups is all about just being your authentic self. Just being able to express yourself, be yourself, be sensitive, be Cancerian. I was talking to somebody yesterday about how... Cancer energy, it, it's ruled by the moon. So you guys flow in and out of energies and you are your most stable when you're allowed to just be wild and free and you're able to one day want to be a creative artist and express yourself. And then one day you want to be a businesswoman and one day you want to have a family and the other day you want to be independent and travel the world, you know, that's the energy of cancer. It's it's most stable when it's allowed to be free. And I feel like that's what you're starting, the seven-year cycle into authenticity and expression of who you really are. And something about acceptance, accepting something as it is. So that you can shine. Now, Six of Pentacles is about um, reciprocity. It's about give and take. Right? I feel like for some of you, this is accepting that some connections in your life have not been based on reciprocity. There have been relationships that you're just giving too much to and not getting what you need out of them. I'm getting for some of you, this energy is about... For some of you, this is interesting... I feel like the reason that this energy is a little bit difficult is because whatever this connection is, whatever I'm talking about, whatever this relationship is, 
It's like you're getting something back, but it's not what you need and it's not what you want. Right. So let's say we're talking about a romantic relationship. This would be a situation where maybe they're very generous with their money, but you don't want money. You want love and affection and, you know, maybe spontaneity, right? Maybe that's what you want. But there's a level of guilt because you are getting something. And I'm seeing this other party being like, well, you're so ungrateful. I do this, 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 and this for you. And it's like, yeah, but that's not what I, I don't care about that. Right? That's what I'm picking up on. And that's why things are a little bit out of balance here. Yeah, three of cups. I do feel like, even though I just picked up on a romantic situation, I feel like for most of you, this is going to be a family situation. Um, maybe uh, the way you interact with coworkers, friendships, community, something along those lines, right? Something is just not giving to you what you need, but it is giving you something. So there's this tremendous amount of guilt. And I feel like this is where this disappointment this, you know, energy and resistance and not wanting to just accept the reality of a situation. I feel the need to take these earrings out. Oh my gosh, that was intense. I'm like, oh my Lord, get this out. Now, what is this? This is a two of swords. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> The two of swords, right? Having to make a decision, having to cut something out and you can't go back from it once you cut it, right? Yeah, Eight of Swords. It's about releasing yourself from this prison that you find yourself in. And it's like this prison of inauthenticity I'm getting. This is a prison of inauthenticity, right? Not being able to show up in the way that you want to show up. Now, the Eight of Wands is here. This is rapid change, rapid communication. I'm going to clarify this. Spirit is saying we got to clarify that. There's more to that. What is more to that? Or what is, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I just, and it's funny that that just happened. I take everything as um, some sort of a confirmation or part of the reading. So I felt like I was getting tripped up on what I wanted to say, right? I feel like whatever situation this is, it's like you try to communicate yourself, but it's like you can't, you can't get something across, Spirit is saying it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, death. There's an ending here. This is like a rapid ending with the higher font. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you know what this is? And the Hermit just sitting here on the top. Like, okay. This could be feel like a period of isolation or having to step away from connections because the way this hermit next to this three of cups, it feels like, you know, having to embark on a self-centered journey, right? And we typically think of being self-centered as a bad thing, but I'm getting that this is a necessary thing, all right? The queen of cups in the reverse, this is your energy, Cancer. And with it in the reverse, it's almost like having to take the emotionality out of the situation and look at it logically. There's something about radical acceptance, right? The emotional aspect of this situation is what is keeping you feeling stuck. Now, if you were to look at this, okay, there's my son. He's about to come in. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to let him in. All right. Sorry about that. I have a feeling we're going to be interrupted again, so... Bear with me. Yeah, there's something about radical acceptance. Radical acceptance. Just taking something for what it is and making a decision that is going to allow you to be unstuck. Right? That's that two of swords. Like, not wanting to deal with the two of swords, but sorry. We gotta. Sometimes we have to make decisions. Now, this is not a permanent decision. I mean, it could be for some of you, so place it as it resonates. Um, with this eight of swords, I'm feeling like there's something about, it's not so much about the relationship. It's more so about how you relate to this connection or connections, right? Because I do feel like we're talking about a community or group of people here. It's not so much the people as it is the way that you relate and the fact that you feel like you cannot be authentic within this group and therefore it's draining, 
hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so it's about figuring out how to be authentic within this connection. And unfortunately, I do feel like in order to figure that out, it's going to require some transformation with the death card here that requires hermit energy. So going into yourself and really getting to the bottom, I'm picking up on like people pleasing energy, you know, figuring out maybe in childhood where that started and doing some work to clear that out. That's what I feel like this healing journey is the start of of gaining clarity about why you feel like you can't be yourself or why you have to make yourself feel small or why you feel like you can't express what it is that you're feeling. Um, I do feel like there's another message here within tarot. Yeah, the Empress. Okay, I feel like for some of you, regardless of gender, you're in this Empress energy. Yeah, you want the world to kind of revolve around you. <laughs> and that's okay, right? Your world should revolve around you. Right, because the Empress, everything revolves around the Empress, but she's generous and she gives, okay? But the Empress puts her needs first, right? For some of you, this could be issues around um, mother or maternal figures. Um, so yeah, that may just be confirmation, but you're, you're wanting to step into this Venus energy, Venusian energy, where you just get to live your best life. And the Seven of Cups, there's confusion around that, right? We're embarking on a journey that's going to bring clarity. All right, let's, let's get some Oracle. What else does Cancer need to know? All right, what do we got? At the back, we have Teresa of Avila, or Avila, Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me, and I know the presence of love is real. Yeah, that's that hermit energy, right? Trusting the answers that come from within. I do feel like you are a very socially connected person, Cancer, whoever I'm reading for very socially connected. And when you're empathic and deeply intuitive in that way, sometimes other people's energy can kind of cloud your own mind, right? Sometimes it's difficult to see what's you and what's somebody else. And I feel like that's why spirit is guiding you into hermit mode, not because there's anything wrong with this group of people, but because there's some confusion about what is yours and what is everybody else's. And the only way you can get to the bottom of that is by separating so that you can be with self and figure it out. Okay, we have the Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss and my body was made for enlightenment. I'm picking up on hanged man energy here. Yeah, so that's like a pause. It's a pausing. I'm also picking up that there's going to be some sort of a healing journey that you're beginning also through your physical body. Okay, so think like chronic pain. Um, I'm thinking maybe unhealthy relationships around food. Um, starting and beginning a mind-body practice like yoga or martial arts or something along those lines. That's going to be really important for you through this process. And Fatima, the mother of Imams, love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. Yeah, for some of you with that Hierophant energy, there may be some issues around whatever religious practice you may have brought up or been brought up within. Maybe some contradictions that are causing some sort of inability to connect with yourself authentically and live your best life. Maybe there are certain things in your culture that have told you, well, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't be this, right? And that's what this hermit energy is all about. It's like taking yourself out of that energy so that you can see and sort through the parts of your culture, your religion, your family, your friends that you love, right? Sorting through that stuff. Like, I love this part. I love this part. I love this part. And I'm keeping that in my heart. But this part and this part, it doesn't help me. It hinders me. So we don't want that. Okay. Let's go deeper. 
weeping willow family sorrow yeah a lot of you this is this is like um family or culture that we're talking about here All right, what else, what else, what else? I'm taking a vacation, either physically or mentally. Yeah, taking a break. Taking a break from what you've been doing. Pay attention to your health. Yeah, there's something about the physical body here. Chronic pain. Um, I'm picking up on heavily, heavily. So getting into some sort of a practice, I'm seeing, I don't even know what that was. I just saw somebody like getting into like a tank of some kind and like a bunch of steam or like something coming out of it. Maybe like a, it's like a sauna, but no, like somebody sitting in it, like sitting in it. I Okay. I don't know what that is. That's some sort of medical procedure. I do not know. I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. All right. What else? It's going to be an opportunity for you to, um, I'm seeing massage therapy for some people, acupuncture, right? This is like trying different disciplines that are going to help you reconnect with your physical body. This is very, very, very important to this practice or to this process for you is healing the physical body. I'm getting that some of you have been so busy running around within whatever that three of cups energy is, you know, the social aspect that like you haven't seen a doctor in a while. I'm getting that every time you have time off, you're here, 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 here with this person, that person, that person, that like you don't even have time to take care of your most basic physical needs, okay? The cobweb protected by from negative forces beyond your control. Okay. I knew I was going to see that. I knew I was going to freaking see that. Okay. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Okay. This is going to be like a really beautiful process for you. Opportunities are waiting for you. So I feel like when you disconnect from the social scene or whatever this is, you're going to see a pickup in your finances. Maybe this is simply just you're not spending as much money to go here, there, and everywhere. So you're going to see uh, your bank account begin to grow, but I'm also seeing your your energy is going to be more open to career opportunities or other opportunities outside of family, culture, uh, friends, whatever, right? If our energy is filled to the brim, we are not an energetic match for new opportunities. You're just not, right? If the universe knows that you can't handle anything more, it's not going to bring anything more onto your path. So as you withdraw and start to heal whatever it is that you, you're you working on healing, like this authenticity and just becoming happier and more vital and, yeah, more authentic version of yourself, you're going to see that a lot of opportunities are going to magnetize towards you. Now, with this parrot, someone will gossip about all of your secrets. I feel like what keeps a lot of you stuck right, with that eight of swords energy is, you know, maybe you come from a family that likes to talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I'm from a family like that, so I know what that's like, where, you know, if you don't go to the barbecue, everybody's going to be talking about you, why she's not at the barbecue. Or if you don't go to this, uh, you know, everyone's going to be talking about, well, he thinks he's better than everybody, right? Don't, Try not to let that, right? This landed right next to the cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you are protected in this process. Yes, maybe people are going to talk, but when we're talking about energy like this, they're going to talk whether you're there or whether you're not there. So you might as well live your life and put yourself first. All right, what else? 1919 on the clock that breaks down to 10 10 that's endings and new beginnings one more all right i'm like i really want to take a sip of my tea so i feel like hydration hydration is going to be really healing for you as well i'm i'm picking up that you can charge your water you have this power and being shown like Avatar, <laughs> the last airbender in my mind, 
like you you can work with the water element it will work with you just tell it what you want it to do if you want it to heal your body you say to your water work through me heal me heal my pain heal this heal that whatever it is all right one more i was just looking at my um my thing i use these tea bags they're called yogi tea and they have like divination, like almost like fortune cookies <laughs> on them. And this one says, the essence of life is to communicate love. Oi, okay. What do we got? Identity, recognition, self-awareness, and examine, right? I feel like that's that hermit energy. Figuring out who you are. Excuse me, one moment. Okay, and we have asked, launch, soar, and request. That's a message with this um, this water, right? Asking the water, but also asking your spirit guides, asking your ancestors for help at this time, right? Because they can't work on your behalf without your permission. So remember that. Okay. And then we have unity, connectedness, harmony, and equilibrium. Yeah. Balanced unity. Balanced unity. It's interesting, like through this hermit quest, this process that you're about to take that's going to disconnect you from the connections that you've been connected to for so long is actually the formula that is going to allow you to connect back to this group of people in a deeper way that is way more fulfill fulfilling for you and for them okay so that's what i have for you cancer if this resonated please like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed and until we meet again namaste thank you so much